house of prayer in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is Father Angel with the Orthodox Church. Welcome to the Gospel for January the 12, 2021, according to St. Luke. The reading is from the chapter 19th, versicles 45 to 48. Today the Lord is reminding the Pharisees, the scribes, and everyone that is basically, that have basically uh, overtook the house of prayer, the temple of God, and made it a den of robbers. And he's reminding them that the house of God has to be a house of prayer. So that is a good, a good moment for you to think, where are you in that place where you get together with, with others? Do they charge you for the mysteries? Do they charge you for the sacraments? Are they asking you, demanding from you the 10% that you make? If that is the case, you are not in the house of God. Because you can sing and chant and have a beautiful um, choir and everything else. But if your priest or your shepherd or your pastor is demanding money from you, you are not, you are not, you are not in the house of God. As simple as that. I invite you to come to the Orthodox Church, where in most of the places, and I have to reckon that there will be places of a certain um, apostolic sees that love to charge. There is one specific that I will not mention, but there is one specific that remains Orthodox, although having great troubles by the Patriarch, that loves to charge money. They are going away and away into a heretic way. But like I said, the Orthodox Church welcomes you openly. The Orthodox Church is a place where the priests work with our hands to pay for our own substance, our families, and to give also to sustain to our church and to give alms. It's a place where everyone comes to worship truly, where no money is demanded of anyone, and that we are stewards of our church. It is the true house of prayer, and you are welcome here. For blessed is our God, always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen.